Alright, so now we're gonna go to the next use case where we're gonna use the parameters in filters. And we're gonna learn as well how to create parameters exactly in the place where we need it. So now we're gonna go and create a report where we're gonna show the top 10 products in our dataset. So in order to do that, we're gonna stay with the big data source and let's go to the products and we take the product name. So I'll double click on it. So now we have a list of our products and what do we need is a measure. So we're gonna go to the orders and we're gonna take the sales. So I'll drag and drop it over here. As usual, let's have labels and I'm gonna sort it descending. And now we want to show only the top 10 products. And in order to do that, we're gonna take the product name in the filters. So we can drag from here by holding control and then drop it on the filters. So now in the filters over here, we want to show the top 10 products. In order to do that, we're gonna to go to the tab top and now we're gonna go and define the rule. Everything is fine. So here you can see top 10 by sales. So now as you can see, we are defining a rule. And in this rule, it's like the calculations, we have a constant and the constant in this rule is the 10. So now you might be in the same situation where you have one user asking for top 10 products and another user asking for top 20 products. So now instead of going and creating two different filters, two different views, we can stay with the same view and use parameters. And then you're going to give the end users to define their list. So now we have to change the value of 10 to parameter. So let's click over here. And here you have always the three options, either the value you enter, or you can create a parameter or use already existing parameter. So now we want to create a new parameter parameter for this view and as you can see this is the second method on how to create parameters so we will not go to the data pane we're going to create it exactly where we need so let's go and click create a new parameter so now we have here again the same window where we're going to create a parameter we're going to call it choose top n products and now you might notice that you cannot change the data type because you are creating here a parameter inside the filter for the sales and the sales is measure and a number. But the same here, you can customize the display format, the current value, and as well, which values you can allow, whether everything or a range. So now let's try the range. The minimum gonna be one, the maximum gonna be 50, and we're gonna have a step size of five. All right, so that's all, let's click okay. So now let's check again the rule. We have top, then our parameter by sales. So that means we don't have a constant value and we are using the parameter. Let's go and hit okay. So now, as you can see, the report is showing the top 10 products because the default value of the parameter is 10. And if you check the left side, we have a new parameter called choose top end products. Great. So now the next step is to show the parameters for the users. So right click on it and say show parameter. All right. So now let's check our parameter. Now it's showing 11. I thought I gave it like 10. So let's edit it again. Right click on it and then let's go and edit. Ah, all right, because we played with those values. So as you can see, it's like pins. It starts from one, six, 11, and so on because the size is five. So what we're gonna do is to change this to zero. And then as you can see, we have here again, a 10. So let's click OK. All right, so now I promise you we have top 10 because if you check the value here on the parameter, it's 10. All right, so now this is something different. Instead of having input fields, here we have like a range slider. So the user can change the slides. And as you can see, our filter reacted and it's showing now the top 20. Or the users could use those arrows in order to change the step. And as you can see, as I'm moving to different values, the filters as as well is changing. So that's it. This is how we can use parameters and filters. As you can see, your view is very dynamic and you let the users to customize what they want. All right, guys. So that's all for the dynamic filters. Next, we will learn very interesting use case of the parameters, how we can dynamically swap between dimensions and between measures.